Once upon a time, there was a brave and beautiful princess who was utterly invincible. Okay, it's my story, I can embellish. <laughs> One whole wall, including the door, was made of glass. On the other side, blurry green and blue figures moved about purposefully. A garishly bright light penetrated every corner. More lights blinked on complex machines with ever-changing information in the form of numbers. So many numbers. Electrical cords and tubes snaked across surfaces and draped from poles like living vines. She is just a powerful speaker, and to be able to take her personal story, which in a sense is a little bit of a tra tragedy, and move the audience with it, that is an amazing skill, because her message could be used in so many different venues. Companies need to hear that, organizations need to hear that, even uh, church-related associations. Elisa, you've been in an accident. Yes. I've been in an accident, and I'm still alive. That's what I like, because she took a, a thing that happened to her and didn't make the story about her as much as, look what ha happened, and you can do the same type of thing. We'd made the way from Washington to Oklahoma on the way to Houston, Texas, driving a three-quarter ton diesel F-250, pulling a dual-axle 16-foot trailer. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> it was all coming from the heart. It was very, very personalized and um, inspiring to the core that I, that I think if one day, if something happens to me too, I think this story will reside in my mind so that I could pick up one of her lines and one of her stories to kind of inspire myself. That is the world's largest live entertainment and livestock exhibition. <laughs> Get out now and run as fast as you can. Like a captain with her ship, I was the last one out and the only one who didn't make it to safety. Wow, I don't know if I was impressed, more impressed with her storytelling, the way she explained the accident and the way she recovered from the accident, or the lessons that I learned. And I knew I would do more than die for them. I would fight to live for them. The strength that you get, the reason you want to survive, she did a fabulous job every step of the way. And so now I want to learn more about how to become semi-tough. 14 months after the accident, I still struggle every day with ordinary tasks, and I'm awaiting a kidney transplant. But I'm still a princess, just now proudly semi-tough and incredibly grateful that this story ends, she lived happily ever after. <laughs>